I'm going to go ahead and apologize to Perk because I know that he doesn't like advanced stats, but often advanced stats inform us. They provide insight. They often reinforce what we see. So they kind of complement the eye test. I know you're an eye test guy and you don't like advanced stats, but I might use a few here. Uh, I just want to react because I didn't hear this, uh, the idea that his teammates shoot good or bad shots. So Second Spectrum, wonderful company. They installed tracking cameras in every arena 10 years ago. And their technology has evolved. And one thing we've learned from that is we can actually track which players create good shots for their teammates. And Nikola Jokic is top five in shot quality created. So if you watch them play, Perk, and I know you do, sometimes you might not stay up late on, on the you know, mountain time zone, but if you watch them play, when he's deciding whether or not to shoot or score, he's often making a read because that's what good basketball players do. They make reads. So if he's getting a double, he's going to kick. If he sees the help coming too early, he's going to swing it to the corner. It's a good pass. What's the most efficient corner three in basketball? It's a corner three. It's, look, Perk, I, I want to I touch on something that they didn't bring up. This idea that Dirk and Steve Nash were uh, favored to win the MVP because they're white. Um, first of all, you stop short at 1990. That was your cutoff point for players to win MVP not in the top 10 in points per game, which is a stupid stat to judge MVP on. This isn't middle school. 1990, Magic won it. In 89, Magic won it. 87, Magic won it. 87, he was 10th. Mm -hmm. 89, he was 15th. 90, he was 18th. Okay. Okay? We, we okay. judge MVP year to year. You also said the criteria or the goalposts change year to year for certain players. No, it doesn't. It, we it vote do. on the MVP. It Hold do. on. Hold on. It we do. vote on the MVP Hold based on, on that season. We vote on the MVP based on that season. It is a regular season award. Previous playoff runs have nothing to do with it. It's a regular season award for the most valuable player. Dirk Nowitzki. Led the league in win shares in both 06 and 07. Led the league in offensive win shares in both 06 and 07. So, yeah, he wasn't top five or whatever he was, top ten in scoring his MVP season. The Dallas Mavericks were 67 and 15. They had the best record in the NBA. In 05, Steve Nash was the driver of the number one offense in the league, a team that jumped 20 wins and had the best record in the NBA. Okay. In 06, 06 to me is one of the weirdest MVP seasons ever. You can make an argument Nash probably shouldn't have won it, but he was still the driver of the number one offense in the league. The two best teams that year, the Detroit Pistons, 64 wins, the San Antonio Spurs, 63 wins. Guess what? They didn't have a top – their their top scorers weren't in the top 20 in the NBA that year. So that was just a strange thing. You could have given it to Kobe. You could have given it to Shaq. You could have given it to Tim Duncan. They gave it to Steve Nash. It was, it's not because he was white. It was just – it was – I didn't – it was just a strange thing. It was just a strong. Well, why did you cut it off at 1990, that's though? Because that, that, that was convenient. That was convenient. I'm just saying, like, hold, hold on, 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 hold on. It was just a strange thing that it just happened. It was just a strange thing in 2006 when Kobe averaged 31, when he was playing with Kwame Brown and Smush Parker. And what it was, was the record that year? 42 thing. and 40. See, his, they were 42 so, and 40. So, so, so let him speak. Was he the most valuable player? They made the player. playoffs. They made the they made the playoffs with that roster. You take Kobe off that team, they probably win eight games. Okay, so let's let's make that very, very clear. Now, since you want to talk about when I was saying and preaching about moving the goalposts, the reason I asked that question was for the simple fact that what I'm saying is I don't know the criteria no more. I don't know if it's because it's the number one seed. I don't know if it's the number six seed. I don't know how you judging it. Is it we judging off of advanced stats or who's the most valuable player? You take them off this team. We don't know. We don't know. But we do know this. Since you do want to bring it up, we do know this. That when it comes to MVP voting, when it comes to MVP voting, 80% of the MV, of the voters are, are white American. 20% are others. This might be the most cringe take that Kendrick Perkins has ever had. He brought up the few only times that white players have won the MVP, and he's trying to make a case that it's racist. Why?
because they weren't top 10 in scoring. Like JJ Redick just said, Magic Johnson wasn't top 10 in scoring in 90, 89, and 87. But he used that cutoff point at 1990 to push a racist narrative himself that white players winning the MVP is only because of the color of their skin, not their team success, and not how well they're playing overall for the season. Kendrick Perkins has no argument here. He's just making stuff up and pushing a narrative because he knows he's wrong about Nikola Jokic stat padding. Now let's talk about this year and let's talk about the stat padding. What I said was I'm never taking anything from uh, when it comes down to Jokic being one of the most skilled big, if not the most skilled big to ever play the game. I would not allow Joel Embiid. I would not allow Giannis Antetokounmpo to be disrespected. Giannis Antetokounmpo is averaging a career high in points right now. Team has the best record in the league. Joel Embiid has had, I don't even know the numbers of 40 point games that he has had, but it, damn it, it haven't been done since Shaq and it's by a landslide. The number of 40 point games he done put up this season. And you can't sit up here and tell me that uh, Luka and, and Embiid is not watching to see the point differential for us who's going to lead the league and score. It happens, JJ, and you know it happens. So for you to come over here and say, oh, that's not who Jokic is. That's not, that's not the type of person he is. It's not in his nature. Before Giannis did what he did two nights ago, did anybody think it was in his All nature? Right, KP. Did anybody right, let, know let, how let he was feeling? Let JJ I, I, get I, I want to say, I want to just say let something. JJ back, give, Stephen, back. A, I, I mean, uh, Stephen, A, I mean, I mean no offense to you, and I mean no offense to First Take, because I think this show is extremely valuable. It is an honor to be on this desk every day. It really is. But what we've just witnessed is the problem with this show, where we create narratives that do not exist in reality. The implication, what you are implying that the white voters that vote on NBA are racist, that are, they, they favor white people. You I just not, said that. I you just, yes, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, you did. That I is did exactly not, what you implied, not, Kendrick Perkins. Not, that is exactly not, what you implied. I, I Secondly, not, hold on, did, hold on. I did not call, I stated the facts. I stated the facts. And you're not about to sit up We all know like what you implied the other day. We all know what you implied just now. Hold on. I stated, one at a time. It's the facts. One at a time. It's the facts. The main point behind Kendrick Perkins' argument is that 80% of the MVP voters are white and 20% are other. He's saying that this is why they vote for white players that don't deserve the award. It's really weird that a bunch of racist voters would mainly vote for black players except for a few handful of times. And by that logic, most of the NBA is black. So that must mean that the league is racist towards white players because they don't sign them to as many contracts and there's not as many of them in the league. See how stupid that sounds? If Kendrick Perkins really wants to make the case that Joel Embiid is MVP, why doesn't he just say that Embiid is averaging way more points than Jokic and he's also a much better defender? Instead, he wants to say the voters are racist, Nikola Jokic is a stat patter, and make up fake narratives to help his case that Embiid is the MVP over Nikola Jokic. We've seen a lot of horrible takes about the NBA, but Kendrick Perkins is straight up lying. He's damaging the reputation of the voters. He's damaging the reputation of Nikola Jokic. Of course, we've seen players stab hat, but there's no evidence that Nikola Jokic has done that this year. And there's also no evidence that the MVP voters are racist. Kendrick Perkins himself has an MVP vote this year. So he's saying that his coworkers and people in his position are racist towards white players. This is some crazy stuff right here. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments, are MVP voters racist? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.